Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Goretti. If you're new here, welcome. Most of you will be new here, um, possibly because I have not done a Sagittarius reading yet. Um, but this is the next sign that I have in my chart that I really resonate with. I've been doing the other four signs um, quite a bit lately and I'm feeling like um, I've been called I keep feeling this call uh, to do Sagittarius, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and what I've done is this is going to be your 2023 uh, forecast, a sneak peek uh, at the 2023 uh, forecast for this year. Happy New Year, by the way. Um, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. This is a general reading, so it might not res resonate for everybody um, as well. This is for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or your North Node, um, and you can swap roles um, or situations. Um, cross watchers are welcome. That's the first time I've said that, so some of you are probably cross watching. And also, uh, please hit the like button to my videos. It's kind of the only way that the algorithm knows to share my videos uh, with others, so that others can see it. Um, and I would truly appreciate that um, as a thank you for um, a watching my videos, please hit that uh, thumbs up and share this video. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you all as well as um, subscribe to my channel. You know, if you haven't already done so, I would love to have you here and hit the bell icon button so you get notified of new videos as well. I do lives like I did tonight. So sorry about my voice. I'm kind of slowly recovering from a um, cold or whatever it was that I had over my birthday and New Year's. <laughs> Um, okay, so I've already shuffled the cards to make things go a little bit quicker. Because it is your first reading, I am using my very special deck here of a gold foiled cards. Okay, um, and uh, so it is the Soleil, I always get it wrong. Um, it is the Beginner's Tarot from uh, Lucid, or Lucid Dreams. Okay, it is, the company is Soleil. Yes, Saint Soleil. All right. They are absolutely beautiful. They're the only cards I keep in my bedroom, which is why I'm doing a reading with those <laughs> as well. Um, and it's your first one, so it's special. All right, let's get into it. We're going to do a bunch of oracle cards. I love oracle cards. You'll learn that. First card we have is misalignment, card number 17. Miracles become normal once we face all of the aspects of um of our life in the same direction. So this is about getting yourself in alignment. This is about really aligning, you know, your thoughts and uh, your desires, right? Um, as well as your energy. You know, this is increasing your vibration or aligning your vibration to match the frequencies for you to call in what it is that you are creating because that's how miracles come in, right? When we're in alignment, okay? So that's the first card. Um, and I'm also seeing that some of you are really not seeing your value or worth. You're really not in, aligned with your self-worth here. Okay. Uh, 43 inner life. Your inner life is a garden to be cultivated. So many of you definitely need to go within. You need to um, connect with the divine, connect to that inner part of you, the inner child. I also heard um, meditate, go within um, spirituality. Okay. Connect with the spirit part of yourself, but definitely meditation. Okay. And that's probably with the misalignment. If you meditate, if you go within, you're going to get yourself back in alignment. And I'm also hearing aligning your chakras, okay, as well as healing them. 18, radical honesty. To believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat, and self-denial. So this is really not wearing a mask, okay? Not needing to be someone that you're not. This is really taking that mask off, taking the armor off, and being your true authentic self. That's not typically what this card is about, but that is what I am getting for you, Sagittarius. And I felt compelled to pull another one, 44 Lantern. 44 could be a number for you that is significant. Um, it is definitely a spiritual number. It is, you know, an angel number to look up. Um, and I believe it has to do with your angels and your guides. And also, I just turned 44, so that, uh, you know, has uh, some confirmation there for me. So, it is Lantern. 
consciousness is a light. Many of you are becoming consciously awake. You're awakening, um, awakening to the truth of consciousness, collective consciousness, that we are all one. And that is actually what this card was all about. Okay, that is, you know, in the book, um, that's what it's all about, is that collective consciousness, you know, that we're all one, we're all in this, you know, together, we're all united, right? Um, I just heard uh, that saying of, you know, that drop, I'm going to get this wrong, but it's the drop, um, the one drop of water in the ocean. Oh, I need to look that up, but it is the one drop of water is the ocean and or is in the ocean the one drop of water is in the ocean and the in and the ocean is in the one drop of water we are all that that's that collective consciousness the unity we're all one okay um so that is a message for someone wow lots of messages coming in my nose get is getting super itchy sorry about that guys um so we have a shining through I heard to read these backwards, broken open. And the last card is a tall tale. Okay, so a tall tale. Um, this is somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Somebody possibly or has in the past. This is somebody who is like Pinocchio, right? Lies, um, is not being honest, you know, with you here or hasn't been honest in the past. Somebody who has deceived you. I just heard Seven of Swords. So somebody who's deceived you broken open here. This is 28. This goes to a 10, um, you know, which is, you know, the ending completion. I'm, I just heard the world card. Okay. So things, uh, cycles, karmic cycles are coming to an end for you. Sagittarius, um, broken open here. It's whatever these lies and deceits, right? Whatever this was with this person who was clearly toxic. Um, it definitely broke your heart open. However, because of that heartbreak, She's sitting on the lotus. The lotus flower has to go through the mud, um, all that darkness, all the yuckiness to be able to blossom into that beautiful flower, okay? And what is next is shining through the beauty within you, the light within you. Because you were cracked wide open, pain is the greatest motivator for us to learn, but also for us to spiritually awaken. So many people are spiritually awakened by this heartache and pain. And this is you connecting to the light and the light shining through. Okay. I'm also hearing that whatever happened in the past with this heartbreak with, I just heard a narcissist as well. Um, you need to shine your light again. Okay. Sagittarius, you need to shine your light again. And then we also have ancestry, a tree, family reunion, honoring our roots. Okay. And we have medical staff healing number 13. So what I'm getting with this, actually, these two cards together, some of you could actually be healing uh, possibly this year from something to do with, um, you know, medically with your health um, as well. Really pay attention to your health, I just heard. And something to do with actually for those paying attention to your health, possibly that you're going through, it is something that is, you know, kind of genetic, uh, that you need to look into. That's for some, not all of you, but also you are healing, uh, you know, generational trauma, things that are coming from your ancestors as well. You, another message is you are healing and you will heal when you connect to your roots. Look back at your ancestry, look back at your ancestors, and it could be bloodline related, or it could just be ancestors, you know, look into that, okay? Um, and then I heard, take two more, so we got bullseye focus. So focus, eye on the prize, eye on the bullseye, right? Um, you need to be very focused on what are your goals and what it is, your desires, and what it is that you want to achieve here, power lines, energy. Again, this is about your, um, your vibration, really pay attention to your vibration, your energy. Who are you giving your energy to? What energy are you receiving? I'm hearing protecting your energy and also power lines. Um, I'm also hearing that some of you might need to go to your ley lines, check 
that out. Look online about ley lines and how to figure out your ley lines based on your birth chart. Um, I know this says power lines, but I'm hearing ley lines. And so it's saying that you can really get a lot of energy from going to those places. Some of you are being called to that. Okay. Side message, not for everybody. All right. So we've got Archangel Michael here. Number 14. Number five also is an eights are numbers for you. Okay. Um, have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. Have a no fear, Sagittarius, because you are being protected and guided here by Archangel Michael with the sword, right, of truth. Um, you've got your ego talking to you, negative self-talk again with this, you know, misalignment and going within and healing your inner child as well. I just heard um, definitely things that your ego is saying to you, that negative self-talk, the, the devil in your head, that devil voice, the ego voice um, is a trap. It's not real. It is lying to you okay you need to connect to the light and you need to know the truth of who you are who we are as a collective who what consciousness is okay um alignment manifestation some of you are new to all of this i just heard okay um so yeah Definitely, you need to, some of you are awakening uh, to the truth, and that is what is going to set you free, I just heard. Number 22, open your heart. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others, and let love heal the situation. So it could have to do with that heartbreak, right? Letting the light of the divine and unconditional love from the divine come in and heal your heart from spirit, from source, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, coming in and healing you. And I just noticed the tattoo here with the angel wings. This is that you are stamped as an angel. You need to see yourself through the eyes of, you know, the divine, right? Beautiful. And heal your heart. That's going to be the healing that comes in for you as well. This was very kind of dark energy here. So you need to let the light come in to heal that heart space. Okay. Letting the light come in to heal that heart space, right? Letting that light shine and come in. And when I went to grab those, this card came out. It says, let it go. Number 24. Um, and definitely this is releasing the pain of the past, releasing what no longer serves you. Okay. And healing your heart chakra, healing that heart space. Green as well is coming through so we also have 35 trust the guidance you're receiving from archangel michael with that sort of truth okay that could be trust what is coming out in this reading i just heard archangel uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany so some of you might have epiphanies when you're watching this um i or you know paying attention to signs and synchronicities you're definitely awakening and you're going to learn something here i am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance okay trust the guidance of the light trust the guidance of the truth you know these synchronicities these signs your intuition as well i just heard trust your intuition okay and we'll do a final angel um guidance message at the very end so overall energy you have the full card this is taking a leap of faith this is you um just trusting i just heard taking that leap of faith with full complete faith and trust in the universe and in the divine to bring you what it is that you want with this new beginning this is definitely a new beginning um you are free spirited you're fearless this is what these oracle cards are talking about that this year you are going to clear those things up you are really going to kind of go within connect to your higher self um you know bring that light in you're going to align yourself, right? You're going to bring in these new beginnings and you're really going to connect to the divine and have that trust and faith in, you know, oneness in the universe, right? In manifestation. Okay. So I'm getting tinglys all over. I'm itchy kind of all over. That's so funny. Um, so this is, you know, having a new path. This is spontaneity. This is really taking that leap of faith here. 
All right, that is such a beautiful card. That's your overall energy for the year. Um, and in the current, what we see or the present is uh, the Ace of Wands. So this is, you know, a new inspiration, a brand new passionate beginning. This is a growth as I'm seeing here with all these Oracle cards. Um, this is potential. This has to do with your energy, the creative spark. Um, I also heard that something is blocked when it came to your energy, which is why you need to go to those energy um ley lines right to restore your energy um and so yeah this is you know having that enthusiasm this is a new project a new inspiration a new idea this is a passionate new beginning here in your challenge position is the Knight of Cups. So possibly this could be somebody. Um, but also what I just said, I actually felt that was um, that your creativity is being blocked. Your energy is, I said energy, but it was your creativity as well. So your energy and creativity, that, that energy, the alignment, your vibration, it's being kind of blocked um, or stifled. And you're not able to be that creative person. Um, this also could be that possibly you're having that self-confidence, self-esteem issues that maybe there's somebody that you, you know, want to offer your cup of love to and be romantic with and charming and you can't, um, you know, maybe you're artistic, right? As well. This card, the Knight of Cups there. So this is, you know, I don't see him really the action that he's taking here. I'm seeing this person, you know, kind of, um, walking across like a crack in the earth and you can see like the lava kind of coming through. And I never noticed that before in this, um, deck, but this is definitely somebody that would, you know, walk across water or, or hot coals for you. Um, so, or this could be you, you know, doing that for somebody else. This is also a mediator, a negotiator, somebody, you know, some of you may be dealing with a situation like that. And that could be what is um, the challenge is that you might need somebody to mediate, um, you know, to be diplomatic, um, and to negotiate for you possibly with an emperor here, because that is the next card. The emperor is also in the near future. This could be a person that you're dealing with. It could be a leader. It could be somebody who's also, um, you know, a father figure, somebody that you highly respect. This could also be the divine masculine here. So there could be a passionate new beginning with a divine masculine, male or female, doesn't matter. We embody both energies, but it could be a new beginning, a passionate, very passionate new beginning here that you might have to be a fool. You might have to take a leap of faith towards this person. And what I'm hearing is probably having some confidence or self-esteem issues and you're scared to offer your cup of love. Okay, but the emperor here, this is also could be you as well. You could be the divine masculine. You could be this leader. You could be this father figure. Um, you could be, you know, definitely this could be an authoritative figure. So some of you could be actually dealing with something like that, um, you know, regarding possibly this, uh, this pain uh, that happened in the past with um, that Pinocchio character. Um, and so the emperor, my heart is actually, I'm feeling like heart pains. So somebody really hurt you here, um, Sagittarius, could be this emperor, but this could also be you needing to take your power back, you respecting yourself, you can taking back control of your life, you having that discipline and focus to be able to go forward in life. What is hidden is the temperance card. Sagittarius, this is your card. So what's hidden is you really need to get back into you know, your element, you really need to get back into your power, right? This is about balance and harmony, healing. This is having patience, self-control, moderation, purpose, peace, serenity, possibly healing needed in this situation. If you are dealing with somebody who's this, you know, emperor, I got for some of you, it's the emperor in reverse. So this is somebody who's not flexible, who's very controlling, 
I also heard narcissistic could be that Pinocchio character, right? So there could be some healing here needed and also some balance and harmony in that situation, okay? But on the bottom of the row here, the way it is with temperance and then with your advice card, we have the queen of wands. This is you needing, again, to have confidence in yourself. This is you being independent, self-assured, a social butterfly, you being creati creative, okay? You need to really tap into that feminine side of yourself. This is you being really passionate and charismatic and vivacious and optimistic, okay? This is Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is you, my confident, self-assured business man or a woman okay this is your advice you need to gain that confidence again and really again like that card said shine your light the outcome and i believe also this is part of how you gain that confidence the queen of cups this is my self-love card this is being compassionate not just with others but with yourself being warm and caring with yourself also queen of cups is very intuitive a healer, supportive, being empathic. Okay, so some of you might actually be empaths, but as the potential outcome, this is you really knowing your value and your worth. This is you filling your cup. This is nurturing yourself. This is the ultimate self-love card for me, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, what you also don't see kind of going further into 2023 is the King of Wands. So this possibly is, this is my entrepreneur card. So some of you could be creating a brand new business and this is what you are super passionate about. You could be taking that leadership role, right? Leadership role as an entrepreneur for some of you, right? general messages there's going to be different messages coming through for everybody but you're a natural born leader here you're a visionary you're charming you're optimistic right you take control you look at the big picture you're taking your power back here okay for some of you also this um, passionate be new beginning possibly with someone could also be a um king of wands male or female right this person we do have a divine union match here and this is someone that you are manifesting or that manifested you. You are the magician here. You have the magician card here. You have everything you need within you to create and manifest these dreams that you have, the desires that you have, whether it is in love, romance, partnership, business, family, health, right? We've seen all of those things here, okay? And also Nine of Cups, you are manifesting. You are going to manifest your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, okay? Because you're taking the leadership role here and manifesting your Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment, satisfaction, emotional richness. You feel really full and happy and abundant. And um, this is also success, achievements, and also lots of pleasure, as well here for you Sagittarius um, and then we've got the two of cups this is unity this is partnership this is love uh, this is a romantic love or could just be a partnership a connection you know uh, a friendship um, but this is joining forces this is unity this is coming together okay and then we have six of cups here so this also could be hearing two stories. This could be somebody from your past. This could be a past life soulmate. This could be somebody from your childhood, or this is you just connecting and manifesting that love from your childhood within yourself by balancing the masculine and feminine within you. That is possible as well. So that's a third message. Um, another message I'm getting here is whoever that you were dealing with here, um, you are taking your power back. You're you know, bossing up, you're taking your leadership back, you're taking control of your life, I just heard here, and you are going to manifest this wish fulfillment in this connection that you have, a partnership, could be somebody you're separated from, it could be, I also heard, um, you know, that there's a baby daddy or a baby mommy that you're dealing with and maybe to do with a child, and you're going to manifest your wish fulfillment in that situation, okay? And I have a little bit of an extended uh, reading as well to pull for you here. And um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, just to kind of clarify this a little bit more. 
All right, so I've got the cards out here, and it's so Sagittarius. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're going to start out with, uh, at the center of your reading here, Queen of Cups. Absolutely, that was your outcome. Um, so moving forward into 2023, definitely you are loving and nurturing yourself. Um, definitely, you know, you have your cup full here. And Knight of Pentacles, you are slowly but steadily um, moving towards your pentacle whatever that is that you are manifesting and this is your abundance um you're slowly moving towards that and also this is you know you being very grounded and stable this also could be someone offering you something or you offering someone something very stable here in the recent past the ace of wands right that passionate new beginning that is what we saw kind of at the beginning there um so this passionate new beginning here in the recent past what we don't see is you working really hard, you mastering your craft. You could be mastering, um, you know, manifestation. You could be mastering this inner healing work, right? The, um, I heard a shadow work, right? And your advice card is Queen of Pentacles. This is for you to be really grounded and stable, nurturing yourself, working hard, enjoying the fruits of your labor, um, being abundant, knowing your value and your worth. I just heard that is your advice and the potential outcome. We have the seven of wands. This is telling me here um, that you are standing your ground. You're standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in. You are using your voice. Um, I just heard you're also um, rising above any obstacles here, okay? And in regards to that, that has to do, for some of you, I just clarified a bit with a situation. King of Cups, again, baby daddy, I'm hearing this could be also a father figure in your life. Um, for some of you, this person was kind of cold. It was actually King of Cups in reverse. So this person wasn't very nice. This person broke your heart right? There's that heartache and pain. This person was not fair. Okay. But the outcome is that the balance, uh, things are going to be brought into balance. I see the scales there. So justice, um, things are going to be brought into balance here. Things will be fair. You're moving away from this situation. Okay. By the end of the year, this is going to be done with you're moving into calmer waters. You are leaving that five swords behind whatever conflict this was and pain. And you're taking that sword of truth with you which is underneath uh, the deck here. So King of Wands, again, in the same position underneath the deck. This possibly is, you know, um, you being an entrepreneur or this is a person that is coming in for you. This is you taking leadership, taking your power back. This is moving forward here, um, being very charismatic and optimistic. Um, you, This is you being a visionary, right? This is you visioning, vi envisioning your dreams. And star card here, this is wish fulfillment with your dreams, okay? So this is you really envisioning your dreams and taking leadership and passionate action, okay, towards your dreams and you're making your dreams a reality, okay, however you're doing that, but I'm seeing with a lot of you, yeah, you're taking, you know, action in the physical realm, but also you are manifesting your dreams. Another message is there is healing here as well for whatever the situation was. You have grabbed onto that sword of truth. We saw that sword of truth here. This is you really, um, th this is brand new ideas, brand new beginnings. This is you knowing the truth. I also heard the truth is coming to light with the moon card here. Okay, this is you knowing the truth of things that were hidden from you as well. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Some of you, I actually heard knowing the truth of an inheritance that was hidden. Okay, and so this could be actually like, you know, um, a, a legal uh, a thing coming in for you that's bringing in this inheritance um, as well. This is about your legacy. Okay, so... Um, this is family. This is abundance that's coming in for you. Okay. This is one of the happiest cards in the deck. All right. Let me see if I need to clarify anything here. I kind of went through your reading a lot quicker than everybody else. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't need, think I need to, to clarify anything here, Sagittarius. Let's look for your card, though, Temperance card. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is, I, I kind of wanted to clarify the Queen of Pentacles um, as your advice card here. And so intuitively what came to my mind was the Temperance card, which is your card. And the Temperance card is wedged between the Nine of Wands, so the Wounded Warrior. You're tired. You've been through a lot here um, that you're needing to heal with the Temperance card here. You also need to have some patience here. And this could be with somebody that really was very immature. Okay? Um, but what I also... The other cards surrounding it are really important with um, that page of cups here. The hermit card, this is you needing to go within and connect to the light within you. Envision your dreams. The light in that lantern for me is always the star card. So this is about healing. So the healing is by you going within. And I believe we saw that in the, um, yeah. The oracle cards, okay. This is going within to be able to heal from whatever immature crap this person offered you and behind the wounded warrior nine uh, of wands we also have um you know with the temperance we have the high priestess card and the hierophant okay so the hierophant is like the high priest all right so this is like a divine union a divine match that will be if there is love for you here this is a spiritual union and a spiritual match that is coming in for you here um but this is also the way that you heal this wounded warrior okay and the way that you um stop being so guarded right based on your past here because we do need to heal that part of yourself all right in order to allow this divine match and union come in here um what i'm seeing is that you do need to really connect to your inner self the inner wisdom uh connect to the light connect to the divine and that's where you get all that wisdom and also you could be learning about your spirituality right learning from a teacher about um this about how to do the shadow work about how to connect within uh to be able to heal you know, all of these wounds from the past. Okay. So that is what you guys are working on this year, Sagittarius. That is beautiful. That's what's coming in for you. Um, that is all I have for those messages here. And let's go to those angel messages. I promised you. All right. We have got goddess of beauty. You are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix. Like I said, you, I think this one of these cards here, I don't know if I said it, but you do need to um, see yourself the way that God sees you, source, the divine, right? Your higher power, your higher self. You need to see the beauty within you because you are a spiritual being having a human experience. Some of you are awakening to that truth, okay? Um, and so I'm seeing, you know, the butterfly here. This is you definitely transforming into something absolutely beautiful, going through the metamorphosis here, going through the cocoon phase possibly, and you're definitely going to be healing your heart here, but know the beauty that you have within you. God of the underworld, something which no longer serves you is about to end. So definitely there's something coming to an end here. The difficult times, this is what you're walking or moving away from with the six of swords here you're definitely moving out of you know this uh difficult situation conflict past you're moving into calmer waters okay um definitely something that isn't good for you is coming to an end here okay and it could be a person place a thing it's belief system ideas that negative self-talk we talked about it could be um you know possibly even you know that voice in your head possibly from childhood your inner child needing to be healed you know somebody telling you that you're not worthy that you're not good enough right that you're not beautiful um you know possibly here so and then we have the angel of space clearing it is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings exactly what i just said all right so you need to release and get rid of 
that toxic voice in your head, the devil in your mind, right? You need to release all those negative thoughts, ideas, and beliefs about yourself, right? Nurture yourself, connect to the light, and know your value and your worth from the light, from the divine, from the truth, okay? This is the truth that you need to know. And some of you, I just heard, some of you might be Christians. Some of you, it's knowing your the truth about who you are in Christ. And that is your inheritance. That has never come up before. So some of you needed to hear that. Okay. All right, my loves, that's all I have for you today. This is your um, sneak peek into your 2023 forecast for this year. Happy New Year, everybody. I wish you all peace, love, light, and prosperity. As always, please hit the like button. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, that really helps for uh, my channel to grow and for my messages to get out there. Without those likes, uh, without you clicking on that thumbs up button, guess what? My messages don't get out there. YouTube doesn't know uh, to share it. The algorithm doesn't know um, that, you know, people should be watching these messages. So help a girl out. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to have you here as a subscriber as well. Also hit the bell icon so you get notified when I do other videos as well as lives like I did tonight. Um, and I'm going to be posting a lot more stuff, you know, going forward, Sagittarius. So definitely this is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and North Node. Again, if you didn't know that, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, and yeah, if you're interacting with me by liking my videos, subscribing to my channel, of course, commenting, sharing, all of those things, interacting with me, I will pick up on your energy and more of my readings will resonate with you. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Happy new year again until next time. Bye-bye.